You work in sports broadcasting. You probably voice a lot of commercials. How do you get paid voiceover work? It's not nearly as easy as you might think, but I'm going to tell you how to do it in this edition of Q&A with STAA. I'm John Chalesnik. Many years ago, there was an icon in Top 40 Radio in Southern California, Shotgun Tom Kelly. He worked between San Diego and Los Angeles for 40 years. Shotgun had an incredible set of pipes, a deep baritone, sounded awesome, but he struggled to get voiceover work. He finally looked into the reason why and was told, you need a voice coach. Well, I don't know Shotgun Tom's reaction to that, but I can imagine he's probably thinking, what do you mean, coach, voice coach? I've got a great set of pipes. I've worked in radio. I'm famous throughout the industry. Why do I need a voice coach? Here's why Shotgun needed one, and here's why you might need one. Shotgun Tom needed to learn the subtleties of reading a script, the subtle emphasis to place on certain words, the dramatic pauses to sometimes put between words, things like that. So Shotgun, this icon of the industry, went to a voice coach. Upon completing his work with the coach, he got a voiceover agent. And after that, you could not turn on the television or the radio and not hear Shotgun Tom doing a voiceover for a major company. So that's how you get voiceover work and get paid for it. Get a coach, get practice, get an agent. If you have a play-by-play -play analyst that doesn't talk much, in our next episode of Q&A with STAA, I'm gonna share six tips with you that are gonna help you get through that broadcast. If you have a question that you would like addressed in an upcoming edition of Q&A with STAA, email it to me, QA at stawatalent.com.